I'm currently wearing 22 inch clip-in hair extensions. I got a new set of hair extensions and I tried a new hairstyle out earlier, which is why I'm wearing them today. I have a wedding next weekend and I'm trying to do some different hairstyles with my clip-ins because the last set of clip-in hair extensions I have were from a different brand and they were they just didn't work for my hair. My hair's really thick and they were very thin. So I decided to order a set from, or a bundle from Bellamy because they have really thick hair extensions and I love them, but I like forgot what it's like to wear thick hair extensions because my old like first ever, not first ever, but like my old like good set of hair extensions I always wore were also from Bellamy, but it's been about seven or eight years since I've worn them. So I'm just trying to function with this like super long hair, but I'm so obsessed with it. Like I'm dying for long hair. It's like one of my biggest wants in life is like hair down to my belly button and I'm just like living for this really long hair. So today I have a bow and tee and Opali clothing haul. I actually have more bow and tee than Opali. I have one Opali item. I mainly was on the website because like I said, I have a wedding next weekend and I have been struggling to find a dress. I never ever struggle to find like wedding guest dresses, but this wedding is outdoors and it's in October and I just don't know what the weather is going to be like. I don't want to freeze and a lot of websites just don't have their like fall winter dresses out yet even like opali a lot of their dresses like they're still coming out with like summer collections and opali is my favorite place to find a wedding guest dress i have never struggled to find a wedding guest dress or any special occasion special occasion dress on opali they are literally my favorite website to buy dresses from i think they're really good priced and they come really really fast and they are such good quality so i'm going to show you guys the dress i ordered but i'm actually not going to wear it and i'll show you why but yeah i'm going to link everything in this video down below i do actually have sadly one item that i really really don't like i'm still going to show you guys and i'll tell you why i don't like it but everything else I really like and I have already worn. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into, I almost said tutorial, let's just get right into this clothing haul. So let's start out with this dress. It's in this really, really, really pretty pastel yellow color. So like I said, this is the dress I got to wear to that wedding, but I'm not going to wear it. I feel like this is too plain for a wedding and I didn't realize looking at the pictures that it is just like a very soft like cotton material and I just feel like I would be really underdressed. I feel like this is a really good dress for a baby shower or a bridal shower, like one of those occasions. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm probably going to wait until spring or summer to wear this because I feel like the color is just so like springy and summery compared to fall and winter, but it is such a pretty dress and I cannot wait to wear this. It's also a midi length and then it has a little bit of a flare at the bottom. If you guys can kind of tell, it just comes out just a little bit and then there's a little slit in the back as well. Moving on to the bow and tee items, I'm gonna start out with my least favorite item to the point where I'm not going to wear it. I did wear this to the gym the other day, but I'm not going to wear them. Again, I just don't like them and it's not anything with Opali or Bow and Tee or the quality. Like I'm 100% going to keep buying stuff off of Bow and Tee and these are a pair of leggings. I will still buy other leggings from the website. I just don't like the style and I don't like the style on like any pair of leggings from any brand. I just didn't realize that this was the style they were going to be when I was looking at the pictures. So I hate leggings that have too many of this like stitching. Like this just has so much stitching. There's like stitching here, stitching here. There's a pocket with stitching there. It's just everywhere and I, I hate that look. I feel like a comparison I can do is like a lot of like Nike workout leggings have just that stitching everywhere like Fabletics. They just have stitching literally everywhere and I hate it. I think it's super unflattering. So that is why I don't like these. They do come with a pocket right here and then they have a little bit of a scrunch in the booty. What I do actually like about these is they have this like V right in the front. So it kind of contours like your waist a little bit. So it does look really flattering. I just hate this style of leggings. I'm not going to wear them, but like I said, they are really good quality. They are really stretchy too. They're really flattering. I just don't like this style, but if this is a style you like or you don't mind, I do actually really recommend you trying these out because they weren't really even that much either for a pair of like workout leggings. 
Overall, I feel like this is definitely one of my smaller clothing hauls. I have two more items left. My next one really compares to that flattering Lululemon jacket that all the girls wear. I did used to own it and I don't remember what it's called, but you guys know the one I'm talking about. It's a zip up and it's just very flattering around the waist. This jacket is just like that. I don't even know if this is a jacket. It's just like a zip up. Um, it's super flattering, super soft. Like this material reminds me of like the Lululemon Align material. Also ignore how much cat hair is on here. I did try to lint roll it, but it's to the point where I just need to wash it because I've worn it a couple times too. And it's just been laying around waiting for me to film. So it's kind of full of cat hair. But yeah, this is super flattering. I highly recommend checking this out on the website. It is comparable in my opinion to the Lululemon jacket, but it's a lot less than the Lululemon jacket. It also does come to a perfect um, like area on the waist. And I feel like I'm definitely going to wear this a lot once it actually cools down a little. It's literally in the 80s today and it's the end of September. So once it actually cools down, I feel like this would look really cute with a pair of black leggings, some like scrunch socks, tennis shoes, and just that, or even adding like a cute vest to it as well. But highly recommend you guys checking this jacket out. You guys, I'm moving soon and I cannot wait to not film on a hard floor. My leg is so numb right now and it literally goes numb in every single video. So I cannot wait to have like dedicated film space. I also have a hair somewhere. I can feel it. Um, but I can't wait to have like dedicated film space. I want to sit on a chair so bad. I am literally stretching my leg out right now because it's so numb. But let's move on to the last item. I'm so excited about this. I have already worn it to the gym and I am obsessed with it. I love wearing cute workout sets and workout outfits to the gym, but I also like to have a variety of styles. So this is a cropped long sleeve top and I just wear a sports bra underneath. What's scary about getting something like this is I feel like you need to wear the right sports bra because if you wear the wrong sports bra, you're gonna see it and it might not look good. So with this, I wear one of my Alpha Elite sports bras, like a really small one with thin straps. And you can see the straps a little bit, but it doesn't look bad at all. I'll show you guys in the try on clip, but I love working out in this. Like I said, I love just like switching up different styles at the gym. So I really like that this is a long sleeve. It does also have the thumb holes, which I never understood, but I actually love thumb holes. I feel like they just like are cozy on your hand, if that makes sense. Like I, if you guys notice in my videos, I'm like constantly doing this. Like I just love having like something on my hands, but yeah, I really like this. The quality of it is also really, really good. Mini is literally chewing on it, but super stretchy as well. I think I might've gotten this in a small or an extra small, it doesn't say, but I will leave down below the sizing of everything that I got. But yeah, I really like this. Minnie's literally trying to walk away with this. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is one of my smaller clothing hauls and I don't really like to post small clothing hauls like this, but when I tell you guys, like I literally just went on Opali for one item, which was a wedding guest dress and I hate ordering things, like ordering just like one thing off a website. I feel like I always need to order more than just one item and I could not find anything else on the website surprisingly. So these are just the items that I found and I wanted to show you guys what I got anyways, but I'm going to do bigger clothing hauls in the future. I really didn't like how short this one was. I wanna do like a five item minimum clothing haul. My camera's about to die. Okay, sorry, my camera was flashing that it was gonna die. So um, yeah, I wanna do like a five item clothing haul minimum in the future. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what I got anyways. And yeah, I did mention that I'm moving soon. I am excited to move. I'm definitely going to miss my apartment. Like I love my apartment. So I will be filming a apartment tour before I move out. And then in my new place, I wanna film a empty tour because I'm just so excited. I don't want to say too much because I hate saying anything too early, but I'm so excited for my new place. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see like my apartment tour or my new place tour, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and turn on your notifications so you're notified when I upload those and any other videos in the future. I am also about to film another video today. So when you guys see me wearing the same shirt two weeks in a row, don't judge, I'm filming two videos in one day. I'm gonna show you guys a hair tutorial. I always wear my hair up in a slick back bun with super healthy hair products. So I'm about to film that. 
And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Saturday. I'm hoping I get this video up tomorrow because I missed last week. I was so busy and I always film on the weekends and I was busy the entire weekend. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything will be linked down below. My social media will also be linked down below if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.